Welcome back to my channel for another video. So this is actually the last video that I'm gonna do in this house because I actually move. So I'm moving into the city. You know, I've done a lot of videos in this house. You know, in the penthouse suite, in the kitchen. I've done a lot of, lot of videos. And it's been an amazing journey, but now it's time to move on. So I'm moving into the city, a beautiful four bedroom, three story townhouse. And again, Guys, this is an example of what you can achieve, you know, if you just stick in there, if you stick with it. So now anyway, let's get on with this video. And also in this video, I recently went to London, um, a bit of a business trip, but it was also some pleasure. So I put a couple of slides in there, so you know, I'm sure you guys want to see some of the stuff that I got up to in London. Because sometimes you forget, you know, you're, you're working in this little bubble, you know, in your kitchen, you're in your house, especially with lockdown, and you forget, you know, when when you actually have the ability to go and do these things through trading and um, you know it truly opens your mind and reminds you of what you can achieve okay so i hope you enjoy this video guys before we crack on make sure that you smash that like button make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and if you want to contact me you can contact me on my instagram and that's sambora.00 so this is a pre-market down trade so I've spoken about this so many times, you know, that space is created and you, you've got to look for these opportunities. So yeah, I predominantly trade the open and the close of the European open, US open, US close. But I also look for these, you know, intraday swing approaches. Okay, so I held this position for probably about, it was about a half an hour, there, there, about, something like that. I can't actually remember how long it was. But it wasn't too long. It's my usual kind of intraday swing approach. But again, you know, I talk about diversification, and I've said before, when I say diversification, I don't mean trading different instruments, because I only trade basically the two in same instruments all the time. So when I talk about diversification, I'm talking about, you know, different opportunities at different times of the day, etc., etc. So it's been a while since I've um, been putting out a lot of trading videos. I kind of moved away from that for a bit, just to give you some new content. Um, and I'll continue to do that, you know, continue to mix it up. I'll continue to mix it up. I hope you guys enjoy this video. 500 odd pounds, I think it was 559 pounds or something. Um, nice little return, pre-market position, so hope you guys enjoy this week's video. Okay, so this is 289 contracts on the Dow Jones. So this is a pre-market position that I decided to take. And again, you know, if you look at the chart from where it previously was, you know, in the AM this morning, basically 10, half past 10, you'll see that there was quite a significant rally. And then, you know, it's, it, you know, it has fluctuated, but at the same time, it looks as though it's fluctuated in a relatively tight range. So, when that space is after being created, you know, coming up towards of an open or a close, it has to give back at some point. Okay, it cannot continue, you know. When the market sells off, it will recover. You know, and when it rallies, it will pull back. This is how the stock market works. So with that space that was created, and, you know, it's only just over an hour to the actual US Open here, I decided to take this position. Okay, so, I held it for a while, um, but at the same time, you know, I was very confident that it would eventually be, come out 
to be a profitable trade just because of the space that was created and you know the historical data again tells me that after such a significant rally over a period of time you know coming up towards the, the start of a close or coming towards the the end you know it tends to give back some of what was already taken again this is what the stock market does time and time and time again you know you'll see these massive rallies and then it has to it has to take back something you know, i'm not saying it's going to take back all of what it previously gave away but it gives a good chunk of it back so as i said i was very confident in holding this position and you know again these positions are something that i look for on a daily basis so you know i am trading the FTSE 100 on the european open the dow jones on the us open dow jones and the us close okay so I'm scalp positioning on them opens but at the same time as well i'm looking for these opportunities now listen i don't take these intraday opportunities if the setup isn't correct okay the setup here is, is correct for for what i'm looking for okay now obviously there's a little bit more to it you know in terms of what i'm looking at um not just the space created but a couple of other things that i've implemented um in my strategy over the last basically two years now that i've been trading well just over two years and you'll see now it's starting to drop down just over 100 pounds and that price action there that price action showing them bearish movements gives me even more confidence to hold again space that was created again very happy to hold this for the time being and so it should be because look at look at the momentum to the bearish movements and when i'm looking at this you know all of these support rejections and these resistance level rejections they all tell a story you know and the story at the moment is that the market wants to take back some of what it, it wants to give back some of what it had already taken so i like these intraday swing positions again when the setup is correct you know and i, I go in with a great deal of confidence when this setup is available to me now if the setup isn't right i won't simply won't do it so this is um this is something that i've been introducing to my students over a period of time now and um, now i've wanted them to predominantly focus on scalping the opens and the close because that's that's really the foundations of what we do okay but this is just another it's an it's another tool you know in your toolbox that you can that you can implement that you can use and you know i look for these opportunities take them in the setup is correct and again you know the great thing about trading futures is that you know the futures are open monday to friday you know 23 hours a day so it's literally a case of opening up your platform seeing if the opportunity is there you know because the setup is correct and then you know taking advantage of that and that's the wonderful thing about trading futures and that's why i've tried futures and you know it's been a long time now since i've traded the stock because this is all i focus on futures indices dow jones FTSE 100 so i will take that i will take that that is a very very nice um well do you know what actually i won't i was gonna take it i was literally gonna take that but you know what it's gonna give me some more let me take that out so there you have it guys 559 pounds and a nice little pre-market position so hope you enjoyed this week's video the next video be in the new place in a new kitchen and yeah it's time to level up now obviously i haven't been able to because of covid restrictions etc etc i've been trying to get a different place for a while in the city you know closer to restaurants bars all that kind of stuff so yeah it's important that you continue to level you know not just your house and your car all that kind of stuff you know in every other aspect of your life as well and um, but at the same time you've got to make sure that you you know you are living within your means it's very very important as well okay that jag i might be keeping that for a while longer i don't know or maybe i'll get a new one i don't know but this is what i'm saying you've got to think about these things you can't be rushing in and spending this money you know you stack it and you spend it you stack it and you spend it. you've got to be sensible okay so i hope you enjoyed this week's video and i'll see you again very soon for some more videos